General TA, my sole purpose here is to help you, or more accurately, to handle all the crap that Dr. Metcalf and Joshua want to do. <laughs> Turns out to be helping you most of the time. Um, I'm a senior by my engineering too. I took this class last semester with Magis Isotopes. Uh, two fun facts. The first one is that I come from a family of engineers. My mom, my dad, two sisters, a brother-in-law, a senior brother-in-law, my boyfriend, and my two-year-old nephew. Um, and the second fun fact is that I study Krav Maga, which is uh, Israeli anti hand combat, which incidentally is part of the reason why they hired me. Um, so don't do poorly in the class. <laughs> and I am your writing TA, and I can confidently say that I will surpass you as the least technically oriented person in the room. <laughs> uh, I did my undergrad degree in Maryland in linguistics and worked as an English teacher for a couple years in my past life and decided that I wanted to keep teaching but not necessarily doing English. So I came to UT to study history and I am now in my eighth and final year of a history PhD. I did get a master's long way, so it's not as bad as it might be. Uh, I'm really looking forward to working with you all and taking some hints and learning a little bit uh, from this class while I'm here. And my fun fact is that I run a co-ed pickup soccer game evenings at the intramural fields. Um, we played Mondays and Thursdays, but I think I'm going to change that to Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, <laughs> if you're interested, uh, let me know and I'm going to join my list. Hey, hello. I'm Jason Nolasco. I'm the community manager for One Semester Startup. What does that mean? Um, well, I can sort of explain a little bit about it. Essentially, I'm a good cop. Um, just tell me your problems, and uh, I will do my best to solve them. Uh, I've been a developer type person, web entrepreneur kind of person, for about the past 10, 12, 13 years in the city. Worked for a lot of companies, public, private, big, small. Um, fun fact, uh, the most fun I have ever had in a position like this is when I volunteered at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. How many people are here from Houston? Anybody? Cool. Um, well, in the Houston Museum of Natural Science, they have a little uh, theater there. So we used to put on science demonstrations. Uh, this story does have a point, um, because it has an interesting moral, at least one for me. Um, we realized the demonstrations were very boring. So my brother, who demonstrates with me, um, decided, and he was a chemical engineer here at UT, he decided that uh, we should alter the formulas a little bit and make some fireworks inside uh, this little enclosed theater. <laughs> um, so that was really cool. Uh, we didn't have any powdered magnesium, but we just used a solid magnesium strip. That was our first mistake. Second mistake was filling a Pyrex beaker with that much strontium nitrate. It makes the bright red sparklies and fireworks. Um, so we lit this thing, and we wondered why it wouldn't light. Um, and then it finally did light, and it was so bright that we thought we were blind. <laughs> um, and this gets doubly better, because once we realize we're not blind, we look out at the kids, the kids are laughing, it's the best, most fun they've ever had. I realize smoke is getting out, um, and then the fire alarms go off, and then um, the Museum of Natural Science thinks we have just set the museum on fire. Uh, <laughs> the fire trucks are called, um, so the whole museum is evacuated, and we find out it's our fault, and everyone's laughing about it, apparently it cost the museum 250 bucks. Um, anyways, uh, more of that story, at least for me, was learn the rules, break the rules. Not only is it more educational, it's more fun. So, hope to meet each and every one of you this semester. Cheers.